Hey, boys and girls, uh, Mr. Mitchell here, and I just realized I don't want to do this in present mode. So if you are viewing this and listening on uh, on Sunday or Monday sometime before class, perfect, okay? Because I wanted to give you a little time to preview the activities and choose what you might want to do. Remember, this field day week is all for you, and you get to choose what is you want to do and also what is real, realistic for your situation. There are also some alternative activities. So as I wrote here, if you're reading this on Sunday before, or before class on Monday, the sole purpose at this point is to organize your field day week with the activities you decide on and can find the materials or equipment for. So for now, and hopefully before our class, our class time, I want you to skip down to slide 11 uh, called the list of activities, and you can either print out the activities if possible, or just write them down and then go through slides 12 to 31. So let me show you what this all looks like. And then go through slides 12 to 31 that has a description of the activity and how to play, a list of materials needed is most important for now, and also a little video that, um, that gives you a, a preview on, um, you know, kind of models on how the activity, how the game goes, okay? Um, so here on slide 11 is, the list of activities. And so again, if you don't have a printer, no big deal, just write down, these are all separate, flying shoes, javelin throw, hot shot, sack races, and so on. So those two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, there's 15 activities that are designed for indoors out or outdoors. So it doesn't matter the weather, quite frankly. And then there are water activities that, um, again, optional for when the weather uh, cooperates at a, uh, Close parentheses there. So, um, um, so you'll write this down, okay, or you'll print it out. And the reason to do that is you're going to circle the ones that you think work for you. So down here in slide 12, slide 12, the flying shoes activity. It tells you what you need. Easy to get a pair of shoes. Easy to get something at a starting spot and an ending spot. It can be a water bottle, a stick, a cone, anything to mark your spot. Right. Here are the directions, and here's a video of Mr. Troying. Try and showing you how to do the flying shoe activity. Number two, there's the javelin throw. He's using with a pool noodle. Again, all the way down the list, you'll see activities that um, you'll decide. Maybe you'll, you'll look by the name, look them up by the name, and then you'll want to um, look at uh, the activity and see if you have the materials. We try to make it as simple as possible and as um, home friendly as possible. Now, Speaking of home friendly, there are alternative activities, especially if outside is not an option for you. Remember, I did say that um, all the activities are designed for inside as well as outside. But um, if you warm up, and there's directions. So there is a page, this is uh, slide 10, for alternative activities. So if it's raining or you can, can't complete any of the field act activities due to, you know, your home environment, maybe the, the um, Maybe outside just doesn't work for you. Maybe you're not allowed outside during the day when, when nobody's home or watching you, whatever it might be, okay? I'd like you to choose to do one Go Noodle and one Cosmic Kids uh, yoga activity. Uh, each yoga activity is about 30 minutes. So between the two, um, both will not last an entire class time. So do one and the other. Uh, if you want to take the time to do all four, but you know you might do one the other Monday, one the other Tuesday, uh, maybe um, and then repeat, you know, your favorite ones on Wednesday. If this is your only option, here are your alternative activities. All right. So I'm trying to make this a field day and a field day week that is most enjoyable for you and set up to, um, to, to, you know, for your success and your enjoyment and your fun. So, um, we will talk about this. We will meet at class on Monday, and you know exactly what to do. But hopefully, you're if you've seen this on Sunday or before class time, you are able to get yourself just a little more prepared so you can spend less time looking for stuff and more time having fun. Okay? Hope that settles it, and I'll answer any and all questions then on Monday. All right, guys. Good job.